This is my new favourite puzzle box. I've time travelled here from the end of the video after having solved this one because I was so impressed with it. I really want to come here and say if you don't watch any of the other videos on this channel, please watch this one. This is such a great creation that I really want you to enjoy it as well. It epitomises what I think a puzzle box should be. It's beautiful, it's playful, in stages it's tricky, and when you finally find the hidden warrior inside you get that aha moment that everybody's looking for when doing puzzles. So. Let's take a closer look at this one and find out how the solve went. So we're trying to find the warrior in here and you can see there's some windows down the side here, but there's not much can be seen behind them. Same on the other side. Got the tail here and what looks like, I guess this is where it's gonna open. So if we have a look around the edges, you can see that there's a bit of a seam and it moves a little bit. So I'm guessing that's where you get into the box to open it. But there's also a little cut out underneath here. On the bottom, we've just got some screws. You don't often see screws on Karakuri boxes, but there we are. And the horse and the mane here as well. So this is a pretty generous size Karakuri box. They don't usually come this large. This is a pretty nice display piece. I think that'll look really cool on a shelf. And obviously it kind of invites questions and stuff as well as to what it is and how to open it. So I'm gonna try and get into the solve of this one next. If you want to see that, stay tuned. If you don't, then I'd recommend you stop watching at this point. Okay, so let's bring in the solving coffee for this one and get started. So I noticed that this looks to be where it's going to open. We've got the horse's head. It doesn't seem to move at all. The ears. There's a bit of movement here in this mane. It seems to slide up and down. And I've just also noticed there's a bit of a seam here on this one. What was that? It is, okay. So that one is coming out and we've got a little drawer here. Nice and neat little drawer. You can maybe hide a little clue or something in there if you're leaving this for somebody else to try and solve. Um, and inside the head, oh, what happened there? <laughs> Some stairs have just popped out, okay. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, what did I do? I moved the main. Can we put the stairs back up again? We put that down. Let's see. <laughs> That's amazing. So there's obviously a catch or something. We just move this. We need to get the drawer out of the way first and down shoot some stairs and you can climb up into your little Trojan horse and sit tight until they pull you into the sea. <laughs> I think I'll just play with this now for the rest of the video. Don't need to continue with any kind of solution or anything. So I wonder if the warrior is somehow gone up these stairs. And then does this open? No. Hmm. Maybe that needs to go back down. Open it up. Maybe if we put everything back in again. The stairs open. No. Up and maybe this needs to go partially in. No, doesn't seem to be anything happening there. What else could we do? Just some head doesn't move at all. Just this piece, this piece doesn't move. Yes, does that come up further? No. Hmm. So those first couple of steps, pretty straightforward, but I don't know where we're going from here. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure, not sure where we're going here. Okay, so I've just found a piece that comes off this little drawer. So this piece was on there. And with it on there, you can't really see the Tolerance is so tight that it doesn't really look like anything, but that piece slides off. So now we have another tool. What can we do with it? What can we do with it? And the windows. There's nowhere really to use it up here. Could possibly get it. Could we do with it? Get it in there? No. In the rungs. 
does kind of fit in there. Put it in. Fits pretty neatly in these rungs here, and then there is a cutout actually, look. Right. There's a cutout that looks just about the right size in here. If we put this piece in, that's going to fit perfectly into that piece there. And I can feel a spring or something as I push that in and the drawer's open. There we go. So we've opened it up. We've got the cash cash makers mark here, but we've still not found our warrior. But I can see now directly through. Can you see? through the holes here on the side of the horse. So we've got a bit of clear vision. So I don't know if I can see inside there. What I might do is just get a torch out for a second and see if I can spot the warrior inside. Can't really see much of, oh, that's better. Okay, so the space inside there is empty, but there does look to be, I don't know if you can see this or not. Basically there's a cavity inside here where this drawer is going to. So the warrior is either hiding in the neck here, here. Let's push this up again. So if we push this up here, there's actually a hole here. So hopefully you can see this on the camera. It's quite hard to show, but basically you can see the drawer, the white bit behind the window. And where it goes dark, that means there's, there's kind of space there. We've also got a little window here that I didn't notice before. And what is okay. <laughs> I found him. I found the little warrior. Let's see if we can get a real... Can you see him in there? So he's hiding in that drawer. Obviously, so you can't spot him as you drag him into the thing. So somehow we've got to get into here. Not sure. So there's a segment of this drawer here that he's hiding in behind this panel. What are we going to... don't think there's any magnets or anything in these pieces. No. Underneath. Oh, okay. So there's just some magnets holding it in place. And look, we found the little guy. Let's get a bit more light on him. So he's got a little shield and a little spear and there's another maker's mark in there. I don't know. I, I think the um, the warrior himself is made not by um, the same artist as the horse with a warrior. So it's Kobo Alp, I believe, who makes this little warrior guy inside there. Let's see if we can get him out. Oh, no. He's stuck in place, I think. So he seems to be pretty much stuck in the in the drawer there, which I guess fair enough. Be cool if we could get him out. Um, and then this drawer is just held in place just with a simple magnet, a bit of pressure down there. And it looks like we force the magnet away from the piece that holds it in place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a puzzle box. This has been one of my favorite puzzle boxes I've ever sold. I love the steps in this one. So let's see if we can lock it back up again. So we just need to push that up, falls down, main down. And this goes on here. Is it going on like that? Or that way around maybe? Stick it in there. Horse with a warrior, what a puzzle box. So this has got to be one of my favorite puzzles I've ever done. It'd be great if we could get the little warrior out of the drawer here, but I appreciate why he's stuck in place. Absolutely love this one. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description down below. It is not cheap, but I'm sure you'll appreciate the costs involved in this one. That's it for today's video. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.